Good morning, darling. Good morning, miss. You're very early. Class doesn't start until nine o'clock. I know. But who could wait? You don't normally behave this way. You're normally a naughty girl. Naughty? Me? You must be mistaken. That's very odd. Where did she go? That's odd. Where am I? I'd better go and find someone. Right. Now to find someone to tell me where I am. Excuse me. Can I help you? You can, actually. Okay. What's your name first? My name is Eve Stoker. Okay, Eve. My name is James Barrett. Now, what can I help you with? Could you tell me where I am, please? You're on the road beside the seaside. I know. But what day is it? April the 11th. Monday. What year? What do you mean what year? Please, I need to know what year this is. Well, it's 2011. Why do you need to know so bad? Because I come from the future. Eight years from now. Oh, come on. Eve, are you serious? You think you're from the year 2019. That's preposterous. You don't believe me? Of course not. Time travel in that sense is impossible. But I am from the year 2019. Really? And I did travel back in time to get here. Honest. You're out of your mind. I am not. Yes you are. I wouldn't believe you, even if you said you were from the year 3000. Or the year 4126. You're not from the future. Goodbye. He didn't believe me. Imagine that. Okay. Never mind. Hello. Hi. I'm Eve Stoker. Snap. That's my name too. Okay. Why do you look exactly like me? Because I am. I'm you from the future. The year 2019. Get out of here. Hi there, Burger. Yo, drink, my sweetie. So, here we are. Someone's fast food order. About to be eaten. Whose order are we anyway? James Barrett. He ordered us. Oh, fucking hell. Hey, there's no need for language like that. What the fuck are you talking about? Your language, my sweet. It's foul and completely unnecessary. But folk isn't swearing. Watch your language. There are children around. I can see that. I'm not folking blind. You are such a potty mouth. Call it with the language. I can say folk all I want. Folk this, folk that, folk the staff, folk the customers and folk the children. You are a very naughty drink. You are such a cola. I'm insulted. How dare you call me such a thing? Mother Forker, you can just suck my straw. Okay, let's calm it down now, or James won't eat us. You're right, I'm sorry. Affirmative. I'm bored. I'm gonna go and see if Jim needs anything. I think he wants us to keep working. Jim!
Yes, Spock, what is it? Just came to see if you needed anything. Not really, my good man. You're absolutely sure about that, are you, Captain? I mean, I don't mind doing whatever you need. Yes, Buck, I'm absolutely sure. I mean, it's not as if... this ship is unattended. Most. Illogical. Looks like we're arriving now. Arriving where, Captain? Earth. 21st century. I believe around the year 2011. It would appear as though we're here, sir. Excellent. Let's get down to the transporter room. Aye, Captain. And Spock. We have arrived in 21st century Earth. Affirmative, Scotty. Kirk and I are going to beam down. Scotty, energize. Aye, Captain. Okay, we're down here. What a very modern looking living room. Affirmative, Captain. It's 2011. This is what living rooms used to look like back then. Well, we come all this way. We might as well just take a look around. Affirmative, Captain. Wow. Would you look at this for starters? Nice clean kitchen. Affirmative, Captain. But I think this is somebody's house. Where are they? Hello there. Greetings, ma'am. I am Mr. Spock, and this is my associate, Captain James T. Kirk, of the Starship Enterprise. Hello, greetings, gentlemen. Nice to meet you. And you're a lovely lady. We're from your future. It's nice to meet you, too. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. You say you're from the future. Are you, gentlemen, crazy Star Trek dogs or what? Affirmative, ma'am. We are from your future. From your calendar, it would be the 23rd century where we're from. And we come in peace. We're human, just like you are. Spock here is our Vulcan, but that's a different story. I see. And you still expect me to believe you're from the future? Affirmative. You'll believe us in a minute, ma'am. Oh yeah? And why is that? Just watch this. Scotty, beam us up! What the? Where are they? They disappeared! Aye, sirs. How did it go? Quite funny, actually. The woman didn't believe us. Most illogical, Jim. Of course she didn't believe us. We were like crazy kids to her. Come on, I mean, being illogical like that.
Hello, Tabitha. Hey, Mum. And why aren't you in school? I couldn't be bothered to go in today. Why not? Because it's incredibly boring and dull. So you thought you'd bunk off? No, Mum. It's not like that. Don't you dare lie to me like that, naughty girl. I swear to you it's not like that. I don't know what's going on with you, Tabitha. First you lied to me about your last boyfriend being only three years older than you and now you're lying to me about this? No I'm not. Yes you are. How can you tell? Tabitha, I am your mother and I know when you're lying to me. You had better go home and stay there. Why? Because you're grounded. How dare you let me catch you bunking off school and then lie to me about it, bad girl. What are you going to do? For a start, I've noticed you've wet yourself. That's really naughty. Looks like I'll be buying you some nappies. And when I get home, I'm going to put one on you. Nappies? There's a laugh. Oh my god. Ashley. It's you. Emily. I can't believe it's really you. What are you doing here? I finished my first year at uni and thought I'd come and spend the summer with my darling twin sister and niece who I love very much. Kimberly and I love you too and we'd love to have you over for this summer. Kimberly's been dying to see her auntie. Ow oh, bless that girl. She's going to have her beloved loving auntie around all summer. I'm also looking forward to having you over all summer. I'm looking forward to staying with you and Kimberly all summer. I'll even help take care of her if you like. You know. Feed her, change her nappies and put her to bed. You don't mind? Of course not. I'll even babysit for her when you need to go out. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Always happy to lend a helping hand. Hello there. Hi. I was just passing by and thought I'd stop by for a chat. Okay. Fair enough. What are you doing? Just talking to my daughter on Facebook. Ah, Bethany. How is she? She's fine, she's just taking care of her son. And how is your grandson? He's fine. My daughter's just changed him and is now putting him down for a nap. Oh, that's so sweet. My son is at the crash at the moment. How old is your son? He's two and a half years old. And what crash is he at? Under Crofton Park Parade. Ah yes. My grandson goes there from time to time. Oh, that's so cute. The ladies there are lovely. That they are and no mistake. Blimey. Is that the time? Sorry, got to go and pick my son up. Okay, see you later. And say hello to your son for me.